If you would like to understand what archetypes and the collective unconscious is, listen to the end of this video. All right, so I'm currently reading Carl Jung's book, Archetypes and the Collective Unconscious, and I would like to reformulate his arguments into modern words, more understandable words, and explain them to you. As an introduction, the collective unconscious is a concept. It's quite an untangible or abstract concept to a degree because it's quite hard to explain. Now, Carl Jung had the belief that there was a personal unconscious and a collective unconscious. The personal unconscious is a part of your, your psyche, of your psychology, which is obtained through personal experience. It's through your own endeavors in the world and actually it's it's in it's um, acquired it's not inborn whereas the collective unconscious is inborn every single person has or um, owns this structure in their brain across the entire universe collective unconscious because it is collective it is universal and it's sort of this it's like a it's a psychological structure um, which is part of like a supra personal. It's 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 of a supra personal nature. You could think of it as like it's hanging above your head wherever you go. It's always there and it stays there. And the contents of the personal unconscious are personal experiences and your personal psychic size, whereas the contents of the collective unconscious are archetypes. Now archetypes is, it's again quite difficult to explain, but um, archetypes is, I mean the term archetypes is quite handy here because it's referring to archaic, um, primordial, universal images which, is have, which have existed amongst humanity for like the, the since the most ancient times uh, the re remotest of times, mm. and they, they refer to symbolic images of the world and of, of human nature. And an archetype is an unconscious content uh, which becomes conscious in the mind uh, by, by jumping out of the unconscious and into the conscious, so it manifests itself consciously. Um, and where did archetypes, or how did they arise? Well, Carl Jung thinks they arose because, like, the primitive man was unable to observe the world in an objective manner. You know, if the sun would rise and set, the primitive man wouldn't able to, wouldn't be able to just conclude, okay, the, the sun goes up and it goes down. No, he had to sort of assimilate all external events with psychic events, internal occurrences. So the sunset and sunrise meant something like the, the fate of a god or a hero that, is, that, that lies deep within the human soul. So it's like the, 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 the events of the world are representations of the, the human archetypes, of, the, of the, um, the behavior of the human, let's say. And the thing is, well, let's say it like this, archetypes, I would say, are behavioural patterns that manifest themselves within all humans, or at least with all, or with all, within all humans' psy psyche, humans' psyche, let's say. And they have demands, and they have, they have personalities, maybe you could say, and depending on the personality, if you want to have a, I would say, healthy life, a healthy psyche, these demands need to be fulfilled. And if they are damaged, uh, pathologies arise. So we need to be aware of our archetypes, attend ourselves to them in order for them to exist healthily in our brains and avoid any deficiencies because then pathologies arise. So that's a short introduction of the collective unconscious and archetypes. So collective unconscious is a 
deep universal structure in our brain, which is made up of archetypes. So in upcoming videos, I would like to explain the archetypes in detail, more of a spirituality and ideas from the book Archetypes in the Collective Unconscious to try and formulate them in an understandable way for you. So thank you for listening.